Hey y'all. These are exciting times if you're a casting Mistweaver, and that's because Blizzard has just previewed a bunch of class changes slated for the 20th anniversary patch, which is 11.0.5. And while I can't speak for Fistweavers, casters are finally getting what some of us have been begging for, and that's a modest suite of talents that when used together, turn Crackling Jade Lightning into a proper DPS cooldown, not just something to apply Mystic Touch or kill totems with. Now this is just the first iteration for a PTR that hasn't even gone live yet, so anything can change, though hopefully if it does, it'll be for the better. First things first, we've got two new baseline passives, one being the former slash current PvP talent called Dome of Mist, which is honestly a weird thing to make baseline considering its only real application is in PvP anyways. But then the other one is Ancient Teachings, which no longer requires a dedicated talent point. However, we are still spending that talent point, because there's a new talent called Jadefire Teachings, which bumps Ancient Teachings from a 30% damage to healing conversion to 140%, and allows it to be triggered by casting Thunder Focus T, not just Jadefire Stomp. But the main event involves another new talent called Jade Empowerment, which says that after casting Thunder Focus T, which activates Jadefire Teachings if you're specced into it, your next Jade Lightning will deal 1000% increased damage, and chain to 4 additional targets. But before you do the math for that, Crackling Jade Lightning is having its embarrassingly low damage increased by 100%, and it's also going to channel 25% faster. So depending on how the tuning goes, we could finally have a reliable way to deal multi-target burst damage on a regular basis, as well as healing through Jadefire Teachings. My one complaint about all of this is actually more feedback than anything. If casting Mistweavers are going to be dealing a lot of damage with Jade Lightning, I don't think either set of hero talents adequately supports these changes as well as it should. If all of this goes live the way that it looks now, just about every proc or talent in the Celestial's tree could really use some interaction with either Jade Lightning or Thunder Focus T. Even the Master of Harmony tree, which gives you a second charge of T, pretty appealing now, could at least let lightning generate vitality. Thankfully, one question we will be able to answer once the PTR goes live is whether the talent Focused Thunder will let us cast two empowered lightnings back to back, though I'm pretty sure it won't because the description says when you cast Thunder Focus T, not when it affects a spell. Either way, I'm hoping we get plenty of reasonable updates based on player feedback before this goes live, and there's still plenty of time to do that. And moving on from these lightning-focused talents, Calming Coalescence is no longer something we have to stack up to 50 or apply just before a boss pull if we want the full effect. It's now a flat 80% increase to Life Cocoon's Absorb, and that's just great for us. It even sits on a choice node with a new talent called Refreshment, which makes Life Cocoon grant you 5 stacks of mana tea and give its target 2 stacks of healing elixir. For raiding, I'm pretty confident I'm sticking with Calming Coalescence, but for dungeons, I think it really depends on your tank and how good they are at self-sustaining. But it's a little early to say. I don't normally cover talents and changes that are more Fistweaver oriented, but Rushing Wind Kick looks like an interesting modification on Rising Sun Kick, especially if you run talents like Pool of Mists and Rising Mists that maintain a lot of hots at once. Not enough to make me want to try it, especially with all these Lightning Talents being a new option, but it's still pretty cool. Before I end this video, I just wanted to point out I've put links to my Raid and Mythic Plus builds in the description below, for anyone who's interested. My casting Raid build is pretty similar to Icy Bane's Tier of Morning build, with a few minor changes, and my casting Dungeon build, which is focused on healing, not DPS, is similar to my Raid build, again with just a few minor changes. So I think that's all I've got to say. We're likely going to get a few tuning passes before any of this hits live, but I'm feeling really optimistic, which is something I've been saying almost continuously since we got our first look at Dragonflight talents. But I've bent it every time. So I hope you're as excited as I am, and as always, thanks so much for watching. Hope you all have a good one.